Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use a front leg side kick as an attack against an advancing opponent. Some students, in particular beginners, are intimidated when an opponent comes in to attack them. Using a side kick with a front leg is a good way to stop the opponent from advancing. But if you're not quick enough, you allow the opponent to close in and prevent you from kicking. So you need to move quickly. And to do this, you need to drop the shoulder quickly and chamber the leg as fast as you can. So engage your core when you do this. So when you practice, keep engaging the core so they will develop to move faster. And kick out as soon as you chamber the leg. Like that. Leaning over gives you the added protection of moving away from a potential attack to the face. So practice this technique as a drill using a kick shift. It's unlikely that the opponent will charge in from a distance, giving the opponent plenty of time to react. It's more likely they'll attack when they're a little bit closer, giving them plenty of time for the side kick to be performed. So one way to overcome this is to take a small step back, giving yourself more distance and time to add in the side kick. But it must be a small, fast step. So you can practice this as a repetitive drill against the kick shoot. An experienced fighter is more likely to expect a side kick with the front leg and are ready to deal with it by either blocking or shielding. One way to overcome this is to double step after the kick. The footwork must be fast, so spring off the back leg and withdraw the kicking leg fast, like that, so you create distance away from the opponent. So you can practice this as a drill against the kick shield from one end of the deck to the other. An aggressive opponent may continue to attack after the side kick, so you need to be ready to deal with it. From here, you've got many options. A second side kick, reverse punch, back kick. But for today's practice, we'll use a second side kick. So you can practice this as a drill on a kick shoot. It's worth standing your ground in the second side kick because you're more likely to catch the opponent off guard on that second side kick. Now in other videos I'll show you some alternative attacks to follow from the front leg side kick. Bye for now.